Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kara. Today I'm going to be doing a purple look with the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. First, I'm priming my eyes like usual. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I'm using like the concealer color to just cancel out any of the darkness, redness, veins that show through. Now I'm setting that with a translucent powder. Now dipping into the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, I'm picking up the shade Eden and I'm using that on a fluffy brush, running that through my crease as a transition. Next I'm dipping into Amethyst and I'm packing that on the outer portion of my eye, taking it up into my crease and just really darkening that outer V. I'm also running that along my lower lash line. Now I'm going back in with that concealer palette, taking that same yellow shade and a really tiny brush and just carving out my crease. Whenever you put the concealer down, it just really helps um, the shadow stick to it and stay in place. So now I'm going in with the shade Desert Sand and packing that on where I just placed the concealer. So you can see it looks extra bright and defined. Now I'm going in with Twilight and I'm just using that shade to blend the light desert sand color into the darker purple in the outer corner. I'm also gonna use that shade as an inner corner highlight. Next, I'm dipping into Retrograde, and I'm just using that to further blend Twilight into the darker purple crease. Now, I'm going in with my favorite liquid liner. It's the NYC Liquid Liner. If you watch my videos, you know I use this every single time, and also that it's no longer for sale, but you can usually find it on Amazon. Just take my time lining the lid. Now I'm going in with my NYX Worth the Height Mascara and just applying a light coat before we go in with falsies. For my bottom liner, I always use the Inglot Gel Liner. I just feel like it's the blackest and stays in place. Now I'm going in with a Makeup Geek Highlight. This is in the shade Daybreak. It's like my current obsession right now. It makes your skin look wet. I've been using it on everyone, but it does have a slight pink tone to it. So if the pink tone doesn't go with your skin tone, I would apply a golden highlight on top of it that way the wet effect still pulls through, but it's the color that you want. Now I'm going in with a blush from Sigma and applying my Lily Lashes in the Style Lux with the Lily Lash tweezers that came with the kit. This was the Sephora collab. Now I'm going in with two liquid lipsticks from Lipland Cosmetics and the Amrezy collection. This first shade is Baked. And then I'm going in with a lighter shade. It's in the shade Spotlight. I always just like to put the darker shade on the outside, kind of in place of a lip liner. This is kind of like a whirl lip liner. And then the lighter color on the inside, it just makes my lips look extra full. And that completes this look today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm obsessed with how this look came out and it photographed so beautifully. If you try this look, don't forget to tag me in your recreations and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Bye.